Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to St James the Great. Dance of Cultus was started um, in, I think, around about 1989. Um, it was started by two men, one senior, now one senior, Matt Coakley at the time, Father Coakley, um, who was the parish priest of that parish, and my own late father, Rory Campbell. Um, one senior Coakley was very keen that something would be started in that parish for young people because it was an area really of, of deprivation at the time. Um, there was nothing for young people to do. They decided not only would they start something for young people, but they would start a branch of Coltis. Coltis Kulturen is an organisation that promotes traditional music, song, dance and language. Um, and it's an international organisation and they had the great, probably, vision, belief, imagination at the time to think that they could start something like that in Pollock. Coltis is a voluntary organisation, it's run by volunteers um, with the aim of passing on both the music, the language, the song to young people and to older people. So that can involve run music classes in our branch for example we run weekly music classes in a wide variety of traditional instruments um, and it also involves organising Cayley bands and group acoles which are large music groups um, and we do that for children from the ages of about five right through to adults of, well, whatever age they like. <laughs> Well, I'm one of those people that always wanted to learn an instrument and dabbled with various things throughout my life, but never really stuck at it. And this was the year I decided, right, I'm going to learn the fiddle. And I decided to come to St James the Great because it's got a great reputation for being really welcoming to everybody. You know, you don't have to be accomplished at it. You can be a complete beginner, turn up as an adult, which I am, I came along and uh, I wanted to learn the fiddle from the very beginning and I'm doing it now and it does sound like a cat being strangled but even over the course of four weeks I can see an improvement, great teacher and everybody's in the same boat. music classes, one of the great things that's going on here in Pollock is that not only do we teach pupils to play music and, and to appreciate the music and to appreciate the song and the dance and the culture, 
but they like to come back and give that back. So many of our tutors here just now are, if you like, graduates of, of our cultist branch. So they're coming back and they're teaching, say, the fiddle or the flute. They might be 16, 17, 18, and they're passing it on to youngsters of, you know, six, seven and eight. And it keeps passing on like that. We also have older tutors. We have people like myself and my brothers who were among the first children who, uh, within the branch who are also teaching, as well as outside tutors too. One of the great things for me um, about being a member of this branch of Coltis is, is that it's not just about learning music, it's not just about learning to play a musical instrument to a high standard, which, which is indeed part of it. And I think that's one of the reasons that our young people come back and keep coming back because they feel that sense of achievement as they, as they learn to do something very, very well. But for me, there's a whole camaraderie that's going on here. Many of the kids and the young people and the teenagers and the adults who come here, their whole social life is based around the music. Um, so they're developing this friendship, this bond, this feeling of being part of a team um, and that they're experiencing success, you know, as part of a band maybe, as part of a group or as individuals. So they're building up their self-confidence, um, they're getting opportunities to perform, they're getting opportunities to, to work together to make something really, really good. I met my love near Bambridge town, my child. Sally, oh, she's the queen of the county down, the flower of Maharani, oh. Traditional musical instruments are very expensive and one of the, the, the aims of this branch is that it's inclusive for everybody. This branch was started within Pollock and it was designed, if you like, to be something for the kids of Pollock and we want no barriers. We want nobody to be eliminated or excluded from coming to our classes because they can't afford one of these instruments. So one of the, the, the great things about our branch is that we've established a musical instrument bank. Um, we've established this bank by basically making grant applications to, to a variety of, of funders. And over the years we've built up a range of instruments including expensive things like harps, um, flutes, fiddles, button accordions, concertinas, etc, etc. And so what this means is that pupils in our classes, after one year of learning the tin whistle, which is a very cheap instrument anyway, um, can get a, a loan of an instrument from the branch and that allows them to go and access the music classes with the expert tutors right from the beginning. And because they get access to an instrument and they get to learn to play that instrument very well at a young age, they then get to take part in bands and groups and that's the where they really start buying into and getting the benefits of the social aspect of the, of the, the group and the club. And, and therefore, through the Instrument Bank, we've really enabled a lot of people to get their first foot in the ladder. branch has grown steadily over the years um, by building up from what we're strong at so by teaching people the skills that we have by promoting a love for the music and a love for the culture and that for me that's the main thing about it that we want to we want to have more and more people being able to access this culture um, and to be able to learn traditional music and to be able to learn to have a love and a skill um, and, a, and a sense of community. For me, that will always be the most important thing about St James the Great Branch. We've had a lot of success um, in recent years in terms of pupils doing very well in competitions, right up to world championship level, like at the All Island FLA. And that's been a wonderful thing in terms of seeing the young people grow in confidence um, and self-belief and in that feeling of achievement. But for me, I would hope that the St James the Great Branch always stays very close to its roots, that it remains very much a community group based in Pollock, something that's accessible to everybody. We will have very high standards in terms of our expectations of our pupils, in terms of the belief that we have and what they can do.
everybody's welcome to come along to St James the Great Branch. We don't care if you're young or old, if you can already play music or if you think you've not got a musical note in your body. There's something here for everybody. Um, there are dancing classes, singing classes as well as instrumental classes. There are classes for adults, classes for children of all ages from about five or six. So please come along, please come and try what we offer. We really, really want to invite you to come and experience um, the great things that are going on here and to be part of the St James's community. Mm -hmm.